Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Royson. I am super excited to continue Dave's defect with an introduction to curl. This single problem will teach us to be more careful with defect diagnostics because many similarly looking defects have distinctly different causes. Even if you don't suffer much or at all from curl, you must see this clip in order to better appreciate defect taxonomy. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. Curl troubles many webs and many web products. It is seen on a wide variety of chemistries including paper, film, foil, non-woven textiles, and more. As we've learned in this series, there is no single root cause. In fact, for the curl defect, there's not even a single root cause mechanics. There are many ways to make curl, all totally different. Even if the resulting curvature measures and performs precisely the same. What is in common, however, between all the types of curl is that the top side is different than the bottom side, for whatever reason. What makes the different types of curl is the different ways the top of the web can be made different than the bottom. For example, it could be formed that way. In film co-extrusion, the top layer could be a different chemistry or a different heat history than the bottom. Most paper until the last few decades was decidedly one-sided. The wire side, or the bottom, was quite different than the top because the water drains down to the wire which supports the web. The classic converting curl formation is the lamination of two different plies that are of different chemistries or different tensions. Please note, however, that coating is also a ply. Some products need a balance coating on the other side, even if it is not required for end use, simply to help keep the stresses on the top the same as on the bottom. It is sometimes possible to make a product whose top and bottom are different and still have a flat product initially. However, if the environmental conditions of moisture or temperature or time changes, the product may not remain flat when your customer gets it. This is yet a totally different type of curl. To keep this YouTube clip reasonably short, the discussion for this and the following slides must necessarily be kept quite short. Please see my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class for more details. The first thing to getting oriented is to observe that the web can be curled in three different directions, CD, MD, and at an angle. Additionally, we have plus curl or minus curl and that is which side does the web curve towards. Thus, this requires great diligence in bookkeeping and usually diagrams to make sure that you and your customers are using the same language and directions. There are many ways to measure curl though most are not very good. Dr. Ron Swanson from 3M has reviewed these in great detail and has even invented a quite superior method of his own. These and many other proceedings of the Web Handling Research Center can be found on the Share OK website, the free. We also have a great list in Appendix T of the must-have 750-page Web Handling Handbook.
There are many ways that you can have differing stresses on the top versus the bottom of the web. However, most people think of conventional curl. Yet, tunnel wrinkles and crack coatings are identical in physics, but merely add adhesive DLAM and brittle failure respectively to these common physics. We can model curl caused when two materials are being bonded together. This is covered in great detail in my Web 101 class and elsewhere. We also can, and also should, list the goals or constraints to make sure that the number of goals do not exceed the number of degrees of freedom. I teach how to do this in my Web 101 class, as well as in my industrial problem solving courses, such as the Web 401 series here on this All Web Handling channel of YouTube. That we have problems with curl is quite understandable once you count goals and compare them with the degrees of freedom. Simply put, we are way over constrained. This is not merely an academic conclusion. The problem is so well known that we have an app for that. Plug in your own numbers and you will see why you are in trouble. Once we truly understand the problem, we are then in a great position to list options that make a difference for this laminator curl type and then to make decisions. These are covered in great detail in my Web 101 class, which can be taken as video on demand through AIMCAL's Converting School Online. Roll set curl is a subset of environmental curl. It is easy to diagnose from other forms of curl because it is worse near the core. It is easy to list the options allowed by physics, though many will not be pleasant because they may involve product design, such as core diameter. In this clip, we introduced many concepts, diagnostics, measurements, and treatments for the different types of curl. Yes, it was a bit of a rush, but you can always play this clip back to study the details. If you want to learn more, you can search the Roysom Library. There you will find that while there are many curl articles, most are from the paper industry. I already called attention to Dr. Ron Swanson's work in an earlier slide and that would also be an excellent deep dive into the topic. Alternatively, I cover this material in more detail in my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 students just like you. Thank you so very much for joining me in this defect solving and defect preventing series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will discuss damage due to cutting and slitting. If you found anything interesting or useful here, please like and share and subscribe. Please also consider supporting the work of this channel using the Patreon link below. See you next time.